Impy Bundle is finally here and I have to admit it's one of my favorites and I'm sure you're going to love it as well. Here I have a homepage example just so you can get some general impression on Impy design. It has this uh, dark clouds and awesome animations and effects. Uh, here's an example of a slider and hover animation. Another really fantastic slider. If you already downloaded MP or you're thinking about getting it soon, let me quickly walk you through the installation steps. First thing we want to do is to install the assistant plugin and then we are going to import all the MP layouts and that's it. Go to plugins, click add new, click upload plugin and then browse. Navigate to files you downloaded, unzip the zip you downloaded first and inside that zip find the MP assistant plugin. Select that and click open and then install now button. Give it a moment to install and then of course activate the plugin. MP Assistant requires an API key to be activated as well. To do so, click the click here link. This will take you to MP Assistant dashboard and API key tab. And here you want to add API key and API email. If you don't know what your API key is, you can find one under My Account API Keys page on our uh, website. Once you do that, click the Save Changes button. Once activated, you'll be taken to Get Started tab. Please make sure to watch all the recommended videos here and also to check our knowledge base. You will find some useful stuff, some useful documentation here to get you started using MP. System Status and Troubleshooting tab is basically a table with all your server settings listed here and it's important to have the OK status for each configuration option here. If you see any warning signs here, uh, you probably want to fix that. And to do so, you can contact your hosting support, let them know uh, for which configuration option you see the warning sign and what's our recommended value so they can match it. Also, there's a help and feedback tab and you can submit your support request using this button here. Now we want to import the MP layouts. Go to Divi, Divi library. Click import and export button and then import. Click choose file. Once again, navigate to files you downloaded and this time select master JSON file. Click open and then import button. This may take you a few minutes. And there we go. Now we can go to a page and test any of these layouts. Let's go to pages and let's create a new page. I'm going to name it MP test page. And of course I'm going to use DV Builder. Now I'm going to click load layout. Select your saved layouts and make sure to check MP collection in case you have uh, more than one categories here. Now I have all the MP page layouts listed here and I'm going to select any just for the sake of test. And as you can see, it is automatically uh, loaded onto the page. Now I'm going to click the publish and preview the page just to make sure that everything works as expected. Let's have a quick check and there we go. That's the MP about page. Let's once again have a quick check at this design. As already said, some really sweet hover uh, effects and some neat sliders too. Alright, that's it. Uh, let me show you now another method of using MP layouts. And that is using Dividend On Demand plugin. It's a plugin you can download for free from our website. Just click the Download Now button and you can uh, subscribe and download or you can choose just to download the plugin without subscribing the choice is all yours once downloaded install and activate the plugin and now you can go to settings dividend on demand and you'll be taken to this uh, dashboard on your left you see the filter options and on your right all the layouts toggle new collections so make sure to check MP collection and now only the MP layouts uh, will be filtered you can quickly preview the layouts by hovering it. As you can see, it has this scrolling animation so you can uh, preview how the page layout looks like. Also, you can click the view button to see a layout on an actual page, uh, like the live demo. And when you want to save the layout, just click the save button. And as you can see, 
uh, it is going to be saved to the DV library so you can later use it on a page. You can now once again click the load layout button and you can also go to your saved layout. Uh, of course we already imported all the layouts uh, but you can find uh, all the layouts you saved with DV Dan on demand here as well. But also you can now see this DV Dan on demand tab so you can directly load the layouts uh, on the page without previously saving it. Simply click the load button and the layout is going to be automatically loaded. If you want to save individual modules and sections, instead click the add, add from library uh, link. And also of course you can use Dividend on Demand tab. That's it for the installation tutorial, thanks for watching.